What's up guys, my name is Ludwig and in this video I'm gonna show you my quick, easy and precise way of editing live drums in Cubase. So we're gonna split this video up in three parts. Number one, we're gonna get our hit points right. Number two, we're gonna quantize the drums. And number three, we're gonna correct any mistakes Cubase did with slip editing. Before we start, we're gonna need to know what note we're gonna quantize the drums to. So I'm just gonna listen through and find out. So on the drums on this song, the fastest note he's playing is a 16th note. So we know what we're going to quantize the drums to later. I also made a note up here using a MIDI track that he's playing a lot of ghost notes here. And we're going to need to know that when we're getting our hit points. So I'm going to double click on the kick here and start with that. And then edit hit points. Let's zoom in. And we want to capture all the kicks but stay away from the snare so i'm just going to lower this until it's a little bit above the snare so it doesn't capture the snares and now to ensure our hit points are correct i'm going to use tab to transient so if i click on a transient and press tab it's going to hop on to the next transient so i'm just going to use that method to go through and see that nothing is wrong with the hit points Here we see it's a little bit off, so I'm just going to drag it over there. Here we can hear that it captured a tom fill. So if you hold shift and press, it'll remove the hit point. So this is the last transient of the kicks and now we know we're done there we're gonna go to the snare the snare is a bit trickier because there are more uh, ghost notes so i'm just gonna set it as low as i can let's see where if we can find some ghost notes So I think this setting is going to capture a lot of the kicks as well. So what I'm actually going to do here is turn the threshold up a little bit and then manually add the ghost notes because there's not a lot of ghost notes. So I'm just going to, if you hold option and click, it'll automatically find them. I'm just going to fill them in. So now the ghost notes are filled in. I'm going to just do the same thing I did with the kick and go through and tap to transient to see um, if everything's correct. Now here we have a flam. And I don't want to have a hit point at uh, both hits on the flam because when we're going to quantize it, it's going to move them to the same grid. So we want to keep the flams natural. Uh, so just one hit point per flam. Now the snare is done, so let's go through the toms. They've already been stripped of the audio where the toms are not playing, so this should be pretty simple. That's all for tom one, so let's go through the second floor tom. That should be good. Okay. That's a snare hit. We'll see where we can put this, like that. So all the hit points are done for the kick snare and the toms. So now let me show you how to quantize them. First you want all the tracks to be in the same folder. I'm just going to name it 
drums. Now you want to click this button called group editing. So all the tracks are moved together as one. If you can't see that, go into track control settings and you should be able to add it over here. Now the whole reason for doing this with the hit points and uh, the group editing is so you don't want to move one mic at a time. You need to move every mic so they're aligned so you won't have face issues. So now all the tracks are synced together. So you want to mark them, go to edit and quantize panel. And you see over here, you get all the hit points you marked. I'm actually going to take the snare as number five priority, uh, kick four and toms as three. If it's a kick and a snare at the same time, the snare gets prioritized. You're going to want to set your offset to minus 10. Depends on the speed of the song, but I like it over there. You're just going to set the grid to 16 and uh, click slice so now all the hit points made slices in the events so you can move ahead and keep all the mics together now make sure they're all marked and then hit quantize so now all the events got quantized to the grid and i'm just going to go through and listen if uh, anything was so off it got moved to the wrong grid so let's do that So here we can hear that the snare hit got moved 1 16th too early because it was too off. So let's listen to that. Also the kick actually. So what you can do here is if you have snap on, you can just move the hit over here. Let's listen. Now there are gaps between all the events that will be fixed with the crossfades. So let's continue on. So over here we have a part that is triplets. Let's take a listen to that. And it got edited wrong because of the triplets. So I'm just gonna delete it and and drag it out. Let's listen to it. Okay, first I wanna increase the view so I can see a little bit better. So this is how you slip edit. You can hold option to click and then hold option and alt to drag something back to the grid over here. I set it to triplets. Then I, I uh, cut it and I drag it. So you continue to do that with all the hits. As you can see, he was a little bit off at this part. So let's take a listen. All right, let's continue. So here was a fill, he was very off, everything got jumbled up, so I'm just going to delete that and drag it out. And do it by hand actually. So let's see, off with the snap and then drag, uh, cut and then slip edit. Let's take a listen. So now that we fixed all the Cubase mistakes, let's uh, mark everything and crossfade it. So let's go into the crossfade editor. And here you want to keep equal power on. It'll sound better for the crossfades. I usually put my crossfades at around 0 12. We'll see how that sounds. So I'm actually going to nudge the crossface a little bit closer to the actual hit to get less of a, a gap between them. So let's listen through if there were any artifacts or if we need to fix something. So 
So here we can see the kick was a little bit early, so the cross fades is too far back, so it's gonna sound like a flam. So what we can do here is just grab the cross fade and put it before the kick. So there we go. So the editing is done. Now let's just mark everything and bounce in place. And there's our edited drums. So let's take a listen. <laughs> 